In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at columns and column sets. Containers and Sysense blocks are used to arrange your elements in widgets, much like a div in HTML. All blocks' elements stack vertically and expand to the width of their parent. So if you create multiple elements, each is placed one on top of the other, with the lowest element at the bottom of your widget. If you want to stack elements together on the same row, you can use column sets and columns. Column sets hold a collection of columns. Each column in a set is placed next to the other columns. Taking a look at the Trending Headphones widget, we have a container that contains a text block with a title. Next, we have another container that contains a column set. This column set contains a set of columns, each with an image vertically placed side by side. The images and their titles appear as separate vertical columns, however these are actually columns within the several column sets. So, on the top, we have the title row. Then we have our first column set, which is stacked beneath the title row. Below the images, we have a second column set, with labels in each column. In the configuration editor we can see a container, then type column set. Then within a set we see multiple column objects. When we want to stack another row, we need to add another container with a column set. If we take a look at the column set snippet, we can get an idea of how this works. Column sets are containers for columns. Containers, column sets, and columns are the basis of blocks and you will use a lot of these when you create your interactive dashboard.